In this video we will present the row fill fill type. Row fill is a unique type of fill. The software scans the shape of the object and creates contour lines trying to fill the object. Suppose you don't like the default row fill of these three basic shapes. Well, you may adjust row fill objects by adding directions and divides. Row fill objects may have many divide and direction lines. You can also add separate directions on each divided part. It is easy to create unique fill effects using row fill together with direction and divides. One more thing we need to mention is that for row fill you can also create spiral effects by applying point directions. Let's see how you can customize row fill. First of all you can apply any style of stitches. You can also apply patterns to get a different analogy on the placement of stitches. Using density, you can adjust the distance between the lines. Row fill is usually used for filling strange shapes, shapes that may have wide and narrow parts. By default, the software adds shorter lines to fill the wider areas and avoid too many threads on top of the other in narrow parts. If you disable short long and start the slow redraw, you will see that lines start from one side to the other. On the wide part this is ok, but on the narrow parts there are too many threads on top of the other. So, with short long enabled, the software adds extra lines on the wider parts to get a better embroidery result. Row fill uses an advanced step for the stitches and you can adjust this advanced step using the length value. To have a better view here, you may disable the short long stitches. Now, using sequence option, you can manually change the position of a part in the design order. And using remove overlaps, you can enable or disable the automatic filter, which removes overlaps between objects for vector designs. So, in brief, the real power of row fill is that you can easily fill irregular shapes. Look at this design. Isn't it amazing?